What's up you guys, Dr. St. Bernard here with Dr. Kalarina Natori, um, and we're here to talk to you guys about insurance. It's the like number one question that we get asked, are you in network my insurance or do you accept my insurance? And so one of the things we want to do by putting together this video is to help you guys understand how insurance works first of all. I mean obviously the main reason why you want to know about your insurance is because you pay a whole lot of money for it and you want to make sure that it pays for your health insurance. Um, so we obviously want to know that we want to make sure that you get the best benefit of your insurance but It's also really important to understand how it works So the first thing I'm going to go over with you guys is the deductible. What is a deductible? Well a deductible is the amount of money that you need to pay as contracted by your insurance company out of your own pocket before Insurance kicks in so that means insurance isn't giving you any benefit until that deductible is met Unless there's other uh, stipulations in your insurance, but that's usually how it works. Yeah. Right right doc? Mm-hmm Another question actually that we get is why are we out of network? Um, people come to us and they bring their insurance card they want us to check and see and of course we're out of network. So we check your deductible one to see what your out of network deductible might be. But a lot of times what we see is that if we were in network with your insurance company there's a limitation in the amount of visits that you're allowed. Mm -hmm. um, and with that, that's something that if we were to stay in network you can only see us for a certain amount of time so whenever we do a new patient exam on you, we already know how, what we need to treat, how long it's going to take, and when it comes to be, have, being limited on those visits, um, that really messes with our plan. Mm -hmm. So it makes it to where you don't get the best care possible based on what we find with your exam. Right, and so in-network versus out-of-network means that the, the insurance company is playing a much heavier role at controlling the type of care that you get, right, mm -hmm. versus the doctor who's more experienced, who's done the exam, who knows exactly what's wrong with you. We can't give you the services that you need because insurance will not pay for those services. Also, with us being out-of-network providers, that allows us to offer in-house discounts to you. Since you are the one paying for your care, you're the one invested in your care, we want to make sure we can pass on the highest amount of discount to you. So with us being out of network providers, that allows us to do that. Absolutely, and being out of network, like Dr. Calarina says, it's it, a lot of people think that because they're out of network that they pay more, and that's actually not true. When you're out of network with a with an insurance company, it allows us, like Dr. Cal said, to, to offer those discounts. So oftentimes people will find that even though they're out of network with a doctor or with their insurance, they're paying equal to or less than what they would pay for an in-network doctor. 